Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of Hollywood with a countdown of the top 10 celebrity actors who, for various reasons, completely disappeared from the limelight. From once revered stars to familiar faces we haven't seen in years. This list will uncover the mysteries behind their disappearance. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on all things cinematic. Now, let's get started. Number 1. Bridget Fonda, born on January 27, 1964, in Los Angeles, California, is an American actress from the renowned Fonda acting family. She gained fame with notable roles in the late 80s and 90s, starring in films like Single White Female, 1992, Point of No Return, 1993, and Jackie Brown, 1997. Fonda's breakthrough roles occurred in her 20s, solidifying her status as a talented actress in the industry. However, in the early 2000s, Fonda began to step back from the spotlight, reducing her acting engagements. Her last major film role was in The Whole Shebang, 2001. Since then, she has remained relatively inactive in Hollywood, focusing on her personal life. Currently, Bridget Fonda is 59 years old, and while she may have stepped away from the film industry, her contributions during her active years continue to be remembered by fans and the industry alike. Like watching me and then watching the film. But, um, yeah, it's sort of, there's some, it's embarrassing. Do you feel the need to take a bow after the movie's over? No. Is, it, is, there, is there a chance? No. People, look, you have such an iconic career, right? Some of the greatest movies. Is there any? Number two. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, born on September 8, 1981, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, is an American actor and former teen heartthrob. He rose to fame in the 1990s for his role as Randy Taylor on the hit TV sitcom Home Improvement. Thomas' charm and talent made him a household name, and he became a teen idol during his adolescent years. In the late 90s, Thomas transitioned to film, lending his voice to young Simba in Disney's The Lion King, 1994, and starring in movies like Man of the House, 1995, and Tom Huck, 1995. However, as he reached adulthood, Thomas chose to step away from the spotlight to focus on his education, attending Harvard University. Presently, Jonathan Taylor Thomas is 42 years old, and while he has occasionally appeared in projects, he has maintained a lower profile compared to his earlier Hollywood years. Christmas Carol there. We did a run of that and I played Tiny Tim, so um, that was great. It was a lot of fun. I, I kind of was the, the preface for um, doing uh, a live performance. I used to work with Kristen. That's not it. <laughs> well, uh, John just came by to give me a ride in my first dinner shift. Yeah, you know, makes sense. Number three, Josh Hartnett, born on July 21st, 1978, in St. Paul, Minnesota, is an American actor and producer. He gained widespread recognition in the late 90s for his roles in films like The Faculty, 1998, Halloween H 2020 years later, 1998, and the critically acclaimed The Virgin Suicides, 1999. Hartnett's heartthrob status peaked with movies like Pearl Harbor, 2001, and Black Hawk Down, 2001, showcasing his versatility. In the mid-2000s, Hartnett made a deliberate choice to step back from mainstream Hollywood, opting for diverse roles in independent films and theater. While this decision kept him away from the blockbuster limelight, he continued to work on various projects. Today, Josh Hartnett is 45 years old. Despite a lower profile in mainstream cinema, he has maintained a presence in the industry, occasionally appearing in films and television projects. Is that the case? Is that what you caught? I mean, he could be. I don't know. Well, I haven't seen him in a while. He's nearly 60. Yeah? He's gone out and had both his ears pierced. Now, <laughs> I haven't seen his nipples, but I... He's a werewolf, yeah. but he knows that things are happening with him, that obviously he, he, he blacks out, he wakes up, things have gone incredibly wrong in his vicinity, and he's just trying to kind of put together what... It Number four, Lily Sobieski, born Lillian Rudabed Gloria Elspeta Sobieski on June 10, 1982, in New York City, is an American actress. She gained early fame with roles in films like Deep Impact, 1998, 
and Eyes Wide Shut, 1999. But it was her standout performance in Joan of Arc, 1999, that earned her critical acclaim and recognition at a young age. Sobieski's career peaked in the late 90s and early 2000s with roles in movies such as Never Been Kissed, 1999, and The Glass House, 2001. However, she chose to take a step back from Hollywood in the mid-2000s to focus on her personal life and pursue other interests. As of 2023, Lily Sobieski is 40 years old. While she has made occasional returns to acting, her presence in the industry has been less prominent compared to her earlier years. It wasn't too hard. Oh, come on, come on. It wasn't too hard at all, not at all. I got to invent my, I have a lot of crazy hairstyles. I don't know if you noticed. In one yes. scene, I'm wearing, wearing a bag on my head and I... And annoy him and maybe I'll seduce all of his professors so that he maintains like a straight A average. I know that. That's my plan. How'd you like to get back on this show? <laughs> Number five, Frankie Muniz, born on December 5th, 1985 in Woodridge, New Jersey, is an American actor, race car driver, and musician. Munez shot to fame in the early 2000s for his lead role in the hit TV series Malcolm in the Middle, 2000-2006, where he portrayed the titular character, Malcolm. During his teenage years, Munez became a household name, earning Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. Simultaneously, he ventured into film with projects like Big Fat Liar, 2002, and agent Cody Banks, 2003. However, Munez faced health issues, including transient global amnesia, which affected his memory and contributed to a shift in his career trajectory. Now, in 2023, Frankie Munez is 37 years old. While he has occasionally returned to acting and pursued other interests like music and race car driving, his Hollywood presence has been intermittent compared to his earlier prominence. I just left. Um, My mom says that about me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's really supportive. Uh -huh. But she's, well, she's supportive now. Well, yeah. do you like... That he gave me that I didn't take. Okay. Five years ago, I was at dinner with him, mm -hmm. and I was telling him all the things I was doing at the time, and he goes, look, I support you in anything you do. Just... Number six. Daniel Day-Lewis, born on April 29, 1957, in London, England, is a highly acclaimed and respected actor known for his exceptional method acting and selective approach to roles. He first gained widespread recognition for his performance in My Beautiful Laundrette, 1985, and achieved international stardom with A Room with a View, 1985, and My Left Foot, 1989, for which he won his first Academy Award. Known for his immersive performances, Day-Lewis continued to excel in critically acclaimed films like There Will Be Blood, 2007, and Lincoln, 2012, winning additional Oscars. In 2017, he announced his retirement from acting after his role in Phantom Thread. Presently, Daniel Day-Lewis is 66 years old. While he has maintained a low public profile since his retirement, his legacy as one of the greatest actors of his generation endures in the minds of film enthusiasts. You work on things that I'm, I have a kind of compulsion to do. But they um, are so varied. Yes. The roles that we've seen you in. So I received so much more than my fair share of good fortune in my life, and I, I'm so grateful to the Academy for this beautiful honor. It's a strange thing. Number seven, Dave Chappelle. Born on August 24, 1973, in Washington, D.C., is an American comedian, actor, and writer. He first gained widespread recognition for his sketch comedy show, Chappelle's Show, which premiered in 2003 on Comedy Central. The show's sharp social commentary and Chappelle's comedic brilliance catapulted him to stardom in his late 20s. In a surprising move, Chappelle left the show during its third season, citing creative and personal reasons. His departure led to speculation and discussions about the pressures of fame in the entertainment industry. Chappelle took a hiatus from Hollywood, spending time in Africa and keeping a relatively low profile. As of 2023, Dave Chappelle is 50 years old. He has since returned to the spotlight continuing his stand-up comedy career and garnering acclaim for his thought-provoking specials. A big one for me, I'm, uh, I'm going to change my style of comedy. I have, I have been offensive to too many people, 
And because I, it's like, I don't get mad at a photograph because it's not today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very healthy way yeah, of looking at it. Yeah, it's like. Number eight, Gene Wilder, born Jerome Silberman on June 11, 1933, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, was an American actor, comedian, and writer. He achieved fame for his iconic collaborations with director Mel Brooks, particularly in films like The Producers, 1968, and Young Frankenstein, 1974. However, Wilder became a household name for his portrayal of Willy Wonka in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971. Wilder's comedic talent and charm were further showcased in collaborations with Richard Pryor, including Silver Streak, 1976, and Stir Crazy, 1980. In the late 1980s, Wilder's screen appearances became less frequent, and he shifted his focus to writing and other pursuits. Gene Wilder passed away on August 29, 2016, at the age of 83, leaving behind a legacy of timeless performances that continue to captivate audiences. ...of each other. Did, did oh, you know sure. that Richard oh, was yeah. working on that script? No. Oh, uh, I knew that Richard was working on it. Oh, yeah. Because I knew Mel. Mm -hmm. You certainly But did. I didn't know that I was going to be... I, because... I think we're all curious. Um, the, uh, the swearing and the, the loud, the bomb... Number 9. Joe Pesci, born on February 9, 1943, in Newark, New Jersey, is an American actor and musician. He gained fame for his versatile performances, particularly excelling in tough guy roles. Pesci's breakthrough came with his role in Raging Bull, 1980, and he achieved widespread recognition for his portrayal of the volatile character Tommy DeVito in Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas, 1990, earning him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Pesci continued his success with memorable roles in Home Alone, 1990, and its sequel, as well as My Cousin Vinny, 1992. After announcing a semi-retirement from acting in the late 90s, Pesci made a comeback with a notable performance in Scorsese's The Irishman, 2019. Currently, Joe Pesci is 80 years old, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood with his acclaimed career spanning over five decades. You like, like tennis? You play golf. 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 Yeah. Play. yeah. How do you shoot? Um, I shoot in around a 16 handicap. I don't know what that means. Is that good? Well, I'm sorry. Have you seen uh, the new Sopranos movie? I just watched it. It's getting kind of mixed reviews. What do you think? No, I haven't seen yeah. it. You haven't watched it yet? No. Do you have no plans to? Uh, yeah, of course I mean. Number 10. Phyllis Diller, born Phyllis Ada Driver on July 17, 1917, in Lima, Ohio, was an American stand-up comedian, actress, and voice artist. She rose to fame in the 1960s becoming one of the first female comedians to gain widespread success. Diller's distinct comedic style, marked by self-deprecating humor and eccentric fashion, made her a trailblazer in the industry. Diller gained prominence with numerous television appearances, including The Tonight Show and her own variety show, The Phyllis Diller Show, 1966-1967. Her sharp wit and outrageous persona endeared her to audiences. While her Hollywood presence decreased in later years, Diller continued performing and making occasional appearances. She passed away on August 20, 2012, at the age of 95, leaving behind a legacy as a pioneering and influential figure in comedy. Really shy, a painfully shy. Really? Yes. Well, how did you get around that? Well, I think when you decide, uh, when you find out what's wrong with you as a person and you start to correct... Uh, you, you are... How old are you? I'm old. You're old. <laughs> and you are going... Number 11. Amanda Peterson, born on July 8, 1971, in Greeley, Colorado, was an American actress. She achieved fame for her role as Cindy Mancini in the teen comedy film Can't Buy Me Love, 1987, opposite Patrick Dempsey. Peterson, with her engaging performance, became a recognizable face in the late 80s. During her teenage years, Peterson also appeared in notable projects like Explorers, 1985, and The Lawless Land, 1988. However, despite early success, personal struggles led to a gradual withdrawal from Hollywood. Peterson took a hiatus from acting, 
and her later years were marked by a desire for a more private life. Tragically, Amanda Peterson passed away on July 3, 2015, at the age of 43, and she still be remembered for her contributions to 80s cinema and the impact she made on audiences during her brief but impactful career. You know, our movie really, you know, it, it initiates that at first, but it is also carried through the film that shows that, you know, it really came out. Yeah, you pretend you like me, and we go out for just a few weeks, and that will make me popular. Just going out with me is not going to make you popular. Number 12. Jack Gleason, born on May 20, 1992, in Cork, Ireland, is an Irish actor. He gained international recognition and fame for his portrayal of King Joffrey Baratheon in the widely acclaimed television series Game of Thrones. Gleason's compelling performance as the cruel and sadistic young king garnered widespread attention, showcasing his talent at a young age. Following his role in Game of Thrones, Gleason announced his decision to retire from acting to pursue academic interests. This unexpected departure from the Hollywood spotlight marked the end of his on-screen career, as he shifted focus to his education and other endeavors. Presently, Jack Gleason is 31 years old. Despite stepping away from acting, his role in Game of Thrones remains a significant part of his legacy in the entertainment industry. I have a pretty hard job of doing it. Um, I suppose he, I mean, he's, he's simply the kind of product of, of, his, uh, of his context and of his family. And I love that you've gone with the social worker argument. So keep that sort of um, connection, yeah, and that hand holding. <laughs> and yeah, see if you want, see how it would feel. Number 13. Rick Schroeder born Richard Bartlett Schroeder on April 13, 1970, in Brooklyn, New York, is an American actor and film director. He rose to fame as a child actor for his role as Ricky Stratton in the popular TV series Silver Spoons, 1982-1987. Schroeder's charming portrayal of the wealthy and endearing teenager earned him widespread recognition in the 1980s. In the following years, Schroeder successfully transitioned to more mature roles, starring in projects like NYPD Blue and Lonesome Dove. However, he experienced a gradual reduction in Hollywood visibility in the 2000s. While he continued to act in various projects, his presence in mainstream entertainment diminished. As of today, Rick Schroeder is 53 years old. Although he may not be as prominent in Hollywood as during his early career, Schroeder has maintained a steady presence in the industry. A dream about me that um, I came to her school, I picked her up in a limo, and she really liked me because I didn't have greasy hair like all the other boys at school. Ah. And this year's going to be different, though. Yes, it will. They're going to start the whole group. We don't know what they're starting as, yeah. a, as a group. Is that what they're, is that what they're doing? Perhaps. <laughs> I, maybe not. We don't. Number 14. Jay Davidson, born on March 21, 1968 in Riverside, California, is a retired British-American model and actor. He gained widespread fame for his debut performance in the film The Crying Game, 1992, where he portrayed the enigmatic character Dill. Davidson's compelling performance earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, and his role became iconic in cinema history. Despite the acclaim, Davidson chose to step away from Hollywood after his breakthrough role, he made a few subsequent film appearances, including in Stargate, 1994, but his on-screen career was relatively brief. Presently, Jay Davidson is 55 years old. He has maintained a private life and largely retreated from the public eye, leaving behind a lasting impact with his groundbreaking role in The Crying Game. Completely all the way through it and afterwards. And what did you think? Absolutely hideous. When you see yourself walking and talking, it's like, do I look like... Number 15. Gina Davis, born Virginia Elizabeth Davis on January 21, 1956, in Wareham, Massachusetts, is an American actress, producer, and activist. She rose to prominence in the 1980s with standout roles in films like Tootsie, 1982, and The Fly, 1986. However, it was her performance in The Accidental Tourist, 1988, 
that earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. During the early 90s, Davis further solidified her status as a leading lady with roles in Thelma Louise, 1991, and The League of Their Own, 1992. Despite her success, Davis faced challenges in Hollywood, and her career experienced a slowdown in the late 90s. Currently, Gina Davis is 67 years old. While she may not be as prolific in acting, Davis has been active in advocacy work, particularly in promoting gender equality and representation in media. I heard that they can like boo and throw things at the screen if they don't like a movie. They, they react pretty strongly, but, um, but they really cheered and, and, and got behind it. I mean, everybody's got their thing in, in high school, of course, but um, mine was being the tallest kid in class always. And I, I, I was so shy and self-conscious that I felt like... Number 16. Jackie Ivanko, born on April 9, 2000, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, is an American singer and actress. She gained international fame at a young age after finishing as the runner-up on America's Got Talent in 2010 when she was just 10 years old. Ivanko's incredible vocal talent and classical crossover style captivated audiences and propelled her into the spotlight. In the following years, Ivanko continued to release albums and perform on various platforms, showcasing her versatile voice. While her mainstream presence may not be as prominent as during her early years, she has maintained a dedicated fan base. As of 2023, Jackie Ivanko is 23 years old. She continues to pursue her musical career and make an impact in the world of classical and crossover music. Was very fun. I did it for two years. And it was just, it was always enjoyable to go on the stage. I listened to for quite a long time, but at the time I was singing opera, so it wasn't even, you know, a passing thought yeah. that maybe I could sing Joni. Mm -hmm. And then I started to... And that wraps up our list of the top 10 celebrity actors who seemingly vanished from Hollywood. It's always fascinating to explore the diverse journeys these individuals take beyond the screen. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and let us know if there are other disappearing acts you'd like us to explore in the future. Until next time, thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay entertained.